right down to the toe or from the shoulders down. So there is no verse in the Quran which says that the face should be covered. And there are various say a hadith. Baby, you can call me a superman. Should you tell Tatagani to go Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu. To our channel, it's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post our reaction videos and you guys can feel free to suggest anything that you want to see here we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy the, the weekly content that we put out we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and you have some amazing conversations which i think you guys would enjoy so you should check it out you can find us on itunes spotify podbean this channel or as or our second youtube channel for the visual uh, we've got a Patreon and we would like for you guys to become members. We'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that um, has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting and everything else that you guys do. We are very, very grateful. So today I'm going to be reacting to covering the face of woman answered by Dr. Zaki Naik. So without wait wasting time, let's get into the video. Um, I feel I'm intending to cover my face. Is it obligatory in Islam? I mean... How could you please give me a reference? The sister asked the question that is it obligatory for a Muslim woman to cover the face? There are differences of opinion as far as the scholars are concerned regarding covering the face. But I agree more with the fatwa given by Sheikh Nasruddin Albani, where he says that covering the face is not compulsory. The Muslim woman's complete body should be covered. The only part that can be seen are the face and the hands of the wrist. The reason for this is those scholars who say that the face should be covered, they mainly give two ayahs from the Quran. That is from Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 31, which says that, say to the believing woman that she should lower her gaze and draw her veil over the bosom. The Arabic word used here is khimar, where people say that khimar means covering the face. In argument for this, there's a hadith in Abu Dawud. It's a sahih hadith, classified as sahih, in which the Prophet said that when a woman, when she prays, she should have a khimar. Now, no scholar ever said that covering the face is compulsory during Salah. So in Arabic, the literal meaning of khimar is a head covering. It need not cover the face. So based on this, this verse does not prove that the face should be covered. Similarly, there's another verse in Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse number 59, which says, O Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the believing women that when they go abroad, they should put on the cloak. The word used here is jilbab. And if you look up in the dictionary, jilbab doesn't mean that covering the face. It's complete but natural. It can go from body right down to the toe or from the shoulders down. So there is no verse in the Quran which says that the face should be covered. And there are various say a hadith, which I can quote, in which the women had their face open. For example, the hadith in Sayyid Muslim, in which the Prophet, after the Eid Salah, he gave a khutbah after addressing the men, he addressed the women. And the hadith says that there was a woman who had a black spot on the cheek, and she asked the question to Rasulullah. That means the women did keep their face open. There are several other say hadith. There's a hadith in which one of the sahabas, he tells another person, that if you want to look at the person who has been promised paradise by Rasulullah, look at the black woman going there. This indicates that the face was open. That's how he could recognize that woman. There are various other hadith. I'd just like to quote one more to cut the answer short, that during Hajj, it is compulsory that the women show their face. Now, in Hajj, in the state of Ahram, no thing which is haram would be asked to be done. A thing which is mubah can be made fard, for example, for the gents wearing two pieces of unsewn cloth. A thing which is sunnah can be made fard, a thing which is sunnah can be made haram, like cutting nail in the sunnah. It can be haram. But a haram thing cannot be made farz. So therefore, covering the face is not farz. It is optional. But those sisters who want to cover the face, alhamdulillah, it's good. Please let them continue. But it's not farz for a Muslim to cover the face. That is the reason I believe more in the fatwa given by Sheikh Nasir Dalmani. Hope that's the question. Can we have the next caller, please? This was very interesting and thank you to the person that suggested this. I guess they were responding to something that I asked 
a few videos back and thank you i don't think i have a contribution to this so it's quite optional it's quite optional like he said and that's very nice to know make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and if there's anything that you guys want to contribute concerning this maybe you have different opinions let us know in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to get your response and i'll see you in the next reaction video